What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another jailbreak update video. It's been a little while since I've done one so I want to update you guys uh, basically what's going on in the world of jailbreaking. So first off, if you guys have an iPhone 10 or older, you can jailbreak with CheckRain. Uh, if you guys want to see my tutorial on how to do that, I'll leave the video link for it down in the description. But unfortunately CheckRain is only available on Mac still, there's no Windows version out as of yet. As soon as that version comes out, I will update you guys. Uh, so it's a bit disappointing for any of you that, you know, have a Windows PC and or don't have access to a computer, you're kind of stuck. But I do have good news for those of you that have Windows or don't have a computer, or those of you like me that have the 10s or the iPhone 11s on iOS 13, there was a, a bug and it is gonna be released. So if we go into uh, Twitter here, and this is from Ned Williamson. He is part of Google Project Zero. I'm sure you guys have heard of them. They have released bugs in the past and we've actually used them to create jailbreaks. So uh, this is a very exciting tweet by him. Excited to start the new year with CVE 2020 3842. It's a fun one and unlike the other bugs I reported so far, so I'm looking forward to responsibly disclosing it. Uh, so this is super exciting. Now, uh, if we actually leave out of Twitter here and we go into Safari to the security contents of iOS 13.3.1, this was actually patched in this update. If we scroll down here a little bit, if we look for CVE 2020-3842, so there it is right there, Ned Williams working with Google Project Zero. And as you can see, an application may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges. We've seen this in the past. It has been released in the past and Uncover and Chimera have used them to update their jailbreaks. So it's just a waiting game at this point, guys. If you are on 13.3.1, downgrade now because there's probably gonna be a jailbreak for 13.3 and older. So basically everything from 13.0 through 13.3 uh, should be seeing a jailbreak hopefully in the near future. Um, this exploit will probably be released in maybe a month or so, maybe less. And then you could see um, Uncover and Chimera using this bug to update their jailbreaks for iOS 13. So this is incredibly exciting. Uh, like I said, we might be seeing these jailbreaks updated in a month or so uh, to support iOS 13. Um, like I said, we are still waiting for CheckRain for Windows to come out. Uh, they've been having issues with it and there's no ET uh, ETA for that. Um, so I'm not sure when um, check rain for Windows will be coming out. But the cool thing about um, Uncover and Chimera is they're a semi untethered versus the check rain, which is a semi tethered jailbreak. So uh, check rain is going to require a computer. And of course, Uncover and Chimera do not require a computer. So my advice for you guys is get on 13.3 and stay there or stay lower if you're on like 13.0. Stay there as long as you're on 13.3 or older. Um, you guys are in the safe area for a jailbreak in the future. If you guys are on 13.3.1, I would downgrade now to 13.3 and block over the air updates in settings. Highly recommend you guys to stay on those firmwares because we probably will be seeing a jailbreak uh, coming out or being updated for those versions of iOS here in the future. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this jailbreak update video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.